It seemed appropriate to start with a cat. I have two of them. If the other one comes into frame somewhere, I'll be sure to put him in. So it's Saturday. Uh, my name's Amber. And we're talking about ourselves this week. And it's already 10, 20 after 10 on Saturday night. I didn't really want to talk about myself, but that's the topic. So I'm going to try and go with it. Uh, let's see, in case you haven't watched my introduction video, I'm 29, I turn 30 next Friday, the 8th, so it makes me an Aquarius. Um, originally from Indianapolis, Indiana, I spent my first 18 years in Indianapolis before I left for college. My bachelor's is in religion, so I'm super excited about the new series that's coming on the History Channel that we saw a preview for last night that is, uh, it's about the Bible, so I'm always interested to, to read more and learn more and, and think about more. Let's see, my, after I finished, uh, my bachelor's degree, I moved to South Carolina and started grad school at Clemson, uh, go Tigers, and then there was some stuff going on with my family, uh, so I ended up moving back to Indiana, moved to Muncie so I could finish grad school at Ball State. I finished my, my graduate degree in college student personnel from Ball State in 2007. And then I moved up to Michigan for a year. I worked at Hope College, which is a small, uh, private, um, very conservative college uh, in Western Michigan. I was uh, just saying to someone the other day that I think a lot of people, when they think of Michigan, they think of... Michigan as a very blue state politically, um, but my experience living in Western Michigan is it's a very, very conservative area. So my year at Hope didn't exactly go the way that I had hoped. Uh, I planned on being there for a few years, but it just wasn't a very good fit. So I moved back to Ohio. The job at the University of Dayton, which is where I've been now for almost five years. It's uh, I'm at four years and seven months, something like that or eight months, um, and I first worked in housing, so my first job at UD was as an area coordinator in uh, a 400 bed first year residence hall, and then I moved to a 600 bed first year residence hall. And then in my current position, where I've been for almost two years now, I uh, advise student organizations. So I love my job, I love the, the students that I work with, uh, they are funny and insightful and sometimes crazy, but it's always a different adventure every single day. So it's kind of fun because I get to plan all kinds of cool things and work with my students to plan cool things. Um, we have a group of students who are bringing Parachute in to, to play here in a little over a month. So that's exciting. And then working with another group of my students who are working on another concert for early April. So I do a lot of uh, working with outside vendors, contract work. Um, I've worked a lot with the university lawyer to get better at contracts and understanding what they're trying to say and so I do a lot of work uh, with some of the standard contracting language that the university has started using and uh, putting that into something that makes sense. So outside of work. I'm super excited because last year I was a part of Eric Whitaker's virtual choir. So there were 3,300 or so people who put videos in of themselves singing a song that he had. He basically created a conductor track and then all of us recorded a video of us singing our particular part. So for this year's virtual choir, it actually cost him about $100,000 last year. Uh, so he put together a Kickstarter and that is now fully funded at, fully funded plus, I think it's at $125,000, something like that. So I'm excited to be a part of virtual choir four coming up here in a few months. So I'll be learning a new song and um, recording stuff. Uh, I. I tend to, I usually sing alto in, in choirs, but in college my, my vocal training was actually as a soprano, so I can kind of do both, which is fun. Um, let's see, what else do I do for fun? 
reading two books right now. Um, the Happiness Project, which is about a woman who has a really great life. She's got two kids, um, and her and her husband are still together and very happy. And she decides that she's going to write a book about um, trying to be happier in her life and making some really conscious steps to try and be happier. So um, she talks about it month by month, and I think I'm in August or September now. I'm trying to think. I think I'm in August still. And so I'm almost done with that book. And then I'm reading, I just started reading Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. And then I'm actually taking a class for fun, which is something that I started doing a couple years ago um, for multiple reasons. I started taking classes because it's something fun. I The first class that I took was actually pottery, which I'm hoping to start doing again soon. Um, and I took it just because I thought it would be fun. But it turned out to be something that I really loved and I uh, enjoyed taking a class. So then the next semester I took pottery again. And then um, since then I, I've i taken a class pretty much every semester except for the summers. Uh, and it's really been a nice way to keep myself engaged. It's fun because sometimes I am in class with students that I know from other areas of the university. Um, students, one of the students in my group last semester, I actually saw him in conduct four year or so years ago. So that was special. Uh, this semester I'm taking human rights and foreign policy, which is a 300 level poli sci class. Uh, and it's actually very far outside of my comfort zone. I enjoy politics and reading about political stuff and understanding that sort of stuff. But I tend to and have taken most of my classes in uh, religion or sociology because those are my, my comfort areas. So I've been stepping outside my comfort zone and trying to learn about international relations and foreign policy and human rights and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm really, it's, I hope it will be a good class. It's been good so far. That's what I'm taking this semester. So I'm actually reading, I'm actually reading the two books I mentioned earlier and then a couple books for that class and a few articles and all kinds of stuff. So I'm actually doing probably more reading than I've done in a long time right now, which is great and it's something that I enjoy. Um, I also have a guitar that I like to play. I love music. I was actually in a session yesterday with some people and was talking about how much I love music. Um, what I'm listening to mostly right now, uh, I've kind of been listening to some up and coming bands. Uh, I've been listening to Macklemore a little bit because my students were talking about him. I've um, also been listening to two bands that Stefan and I are going to go see at the end of the month. ZZ Ward. She's kind of a pop, R&B, uh, neo-soul sort of music. And then uh, Delta Ray, who is pop rock country. So it, I definitely enjoy bands who kind of blur the lines around genre um, and so I've started listening to I've also started listening to uh, Monsters and Men, uh, The Lumineers, uh, Mumford and Sons and some other bands so trying to expand my musical horizons. I'm also an avid podcast listener which I don't necessarily talk a whole lot about in the rest of my life um, but every week I listen to uh, This American Life and Dan Savage's podcast and one or two I try to get in like three or four of um, Stuff You Should Know and Jillian Michaels podcast and then less often are Intelligence Squared which is a, it's a debate podcast which is totally in my super dork weird house uh, and those are really the, the major ones I listen to. Sometimes I'll pick up one or another here or there, but um, those are the, the ones that I that I listen to on a really consistent basis right now. Okay. So there's our Dante. He's a very handsome fellow. You're leaving me. As well. Hi, bud. All right, well, I think that's about all that I've got for this week about me and life and things. So hope everybody is having a wonderful week. Um, I hardly ever say this, go Ravens, 
and we'll see y'all next week.